April 1st. Almost one month in. I just stopped in the shelter. We're still going to fresh grounds. Hey, look, there's cliff up ahead. I don't know if you can see him. He's back there somewhere. But yeah, <sighs> feeling good. Almost one month in. Hey, fresh grounds. Wave goodbye. Bye, fresh grounds. See you guys. It's day 30, and I ate two pancakes, and they were good, and now I'm going to puke. But I hope I don't, because I have to hike 16 miles. <sighs> They're good, though. So, hopefully that's a, one of those controlled burns down there, or else I'm going to have to hike a lot faster. Time to climb that. I don't know if you can quite make it out, but towards the top, the forest on the top of that little mountain there completely changes. See how there's like the dark slightly to the right? It's all spruce, so it just suddenly changes when you get up there. It's like Boris Yeltsin's liver spot. Ooh, water. Paul Bird, man, he's moving quick. Holy crap. Who is it? Yeah, we came down here last night and <laughs> I thought, you know, I was going to get like my kidney taken and then <laughs> Last night, Romeo and I stayed at the uh, Greasy Creek Hostel, which is awesome. But the uh, CC, the, the caretaker and owner that lives there, very nice woman. Um, yeah, she said we could use like some of her hot sauce and jalapenos for cooking. So I added like 30 jalapeno slices and a lot of hot sauce. And today's rough and I don't feel very good. Not Noro though, I promise. It's not Noro. It's not Noro. But uh, too much jalapenos. Oh, so happy to see this. I've been trying to outrun a thunderstorm for the last five miles. I guess there's. It's supposed to be at 4 or 5, but it's coming in earlier. Uh, 0.6. That sucked. Uh, we made it though. Now, since Romeo gets here, I gotta figure out if I can wait out the storm, maybe night hike, or uh, stay here. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to get bad in about two hours. What's up? Anyway, um, so, I don't know for sure. Wind's picking up though. I don't know if I want to go seven miles. Go away, storm. It is beautiful up here, but we gotta get the hell out of this boat. The double rainbow! Oh, it's starting to look like a triple rainbow! It's officially been one month on the trail, and that's pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty tired from today, but I'm pretty tired from every day, so that's all right. Um, gonna do 18 tomorrow at the barn, as you can see, and it's pretty sweet. Um, I think this probably holds like 25 people. There's a lot. There's just our group of people here tonight, and then like 15 or something section hikers, um, which is cool. It's definitely a different vibe. Um, yeah, all day I thought it was gonna thunder. I was like really worried I was gonna die. Well, not actually really worried I was gonna die, but <laughs> Romy had to keep pushing me forward. Um, but now we're here, and as you can see, it's quite nice out. Woo. This is literally the view as you poop at the pervy here. From the exact spot. Here's the barn right down there where we stayed. Uh, great night, but cold. <laughs> really drafty. The whole barn started moving because it was so windy. Uh, you can see there's a valley. 
right here. And the sun's coming through, but if you head upwards where we're going, we're going into oblivion. So that'll be cool. Day 32 or 33. Maybe 33. Sweet. Let's do it. We are so inside of the cloud right now. Oh my god, it's totally raining sideways. Or winding. The best and worst part about balls is that sometimes you can see exactly how high you can go. But it's kind of cool. You watch the trail run up the mountain, kind of like a little bit of water running down a beach towards the ocean. Just a small little path. Growing up that thing. We're not even at the top yet. Crazy! Just as we clear the top, the sun suddenly breaks and you can see everything. Wow. This is Mountaineer Falls. This has been the first time in probably two weeks that I've gotten up and out of camp before. Eight, which I owe entirely to Bright Side and Rolling Thunder because I did not wake up, they woke me up. But it's cold, you can see the sun starting to rise. If you shoot an arrow in it, it turns into the fire arrow. Um, but yeah, this is good because we'll get to the Kinkora hostel at like 2.33. And he does a shuttle into town, which means subway, finally, and you know, other essentials. Also, we heard they might be doing an Easter dinner, which would be sweet. But more on that later because I'm not sure yet. Because he's they, fucking trail mayor, of course he gets Because down. Mingo's wife gave them a ride. Oh. Oh, is, is she coming? I don't know where she is. I think she's in the bathroom. 50 days. Yeah, exactly. The laptop behind your back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Let me see this. Can we stay in a lot of hostels? Is it standing bare? Yeah, there's no way. I'm trying to get the waterfall right in like a video or something, but it's pitch black. Can't really see it, but the whole trail is going right along the rock wall by the river. Wish you could see one in the flashlight. This morning, Sparkle and I got up at, well, tried to get up at 4.30, but got up at 5. And we've already booked it over the big climb for the day. Um, we're supposed to get bad thunderstorms and rain and all that good stuff, but... At least the climb is done, so we're out of the elevation. We're going to be flat, and we're trying to do, a bunch of us are trying to do two 25, 26 mile days into Damascus, where there will be subway, which I still haven't gotten. And I want subway really bad. So, yeah, let's do it. Hopefully, the rain and thunder will hold off. <laughs> wow. If you're a young one under the age of 18, or don't like her.
cursing. I'm gonna stop now. Seriously, fuck today. Almost done 25 miles now. I'll, I'll talk more about it later. I think I'm almost there. But fuck today, seriously. Now going on strong. So yesterday was easily the worst day on the trail. Um, poured rain all day, but we had some really severe thunderstorms, and I was stuck on a ridge line. And really, there's nowhere to go. I mean, I could have I could have self camped, and that was an option. And they ended up going away. Um, but yeah, yesterday was was awful. So Damascus is in 24 miles, and I'm gonna make it. So I'll talk later then, because the fog is. Is blowing off, so we're gonna make it. This is probably the tiniest shelter I've seen so far. A lot of the ones around here are older too, a couple from the 60s, but. Hey, you know, when uh, when you need it, it'll work for somebody. But I'm pressing on. Ten miles to Damascus. Hell yes. Made it to Virginia. Well, now I made it to Virginia. No, come back. I know. Oh, yeah. Made it. You see four and five? I do. So I'm four, 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I work too. But I have to think, is long hair, short hair? I mean.